Hey everyone, welcome to the second PyScript video. In this video, we will write a tic-tac-toe game using PyScript and in the process, we will learn how to interface PyScript with the browser UI. As always, we have more videos on PyScript coming up. So if you're interested in learning more PyScript, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to get notified of the new videos. All right, now let's get started with the code. Here on the screen, you can see an empty HTML page with PyScript already included. The first thing that we're gonna do is to create the game UI using HTML and CSS. I'll create nine divs over here and then we can use CSS grid to style the divs into a three by three grid. Within each of these divs, we're going to put uh, three spans. In one, we're gonna have the text X. In the other one, we'll have the text O. And in the last one, we're gonna put a button. The reason we do this is we can show or hide any of these. So we might show the X, then we'll hide the O and the button. If we haven't entered anything into the cell yet, then we'll hide the X and O and show the button. The reason why we want to do it this way is because it's a little more complex in PyScript to create the button dynamically. It's much easier if the button is there from the beginning of the page load and we just show and hide it. We'll see how to manage a more complicated scenario later on. But uh, for this first video, we're just going to keep it simple. Now we'll just add the CSS for our UI. We're going to use CSS grid to display our nine divs in a three by three grid. And we'll also define this hidden class and make it display none. At the moment, when we start, all these spans are going to be hidden. And then using the code, we will add or remove this class to show or hide any of these elements. Okay. Now that we have the UI ready, let's start with the code. We start by creating a PyScript tag and we'll also write a few functions to update the UI. First, we'll start with a function that will add or remove those hidden classes to show or hide the particular elements. We'll create this function update cells. It will take a list of the values for each of those cells. If the value is zero, then that means the user has put an X over there. If the value is one, that means the user has inputted an O over there. And if it's none, then the user has not yet inputted in that cell. So we have to show the button. We'll start by looping through the list. Then we'll make every element hidden. And then depending on the value, we will unhide one out of these three elements. You see here how we access the element in PyScript. You use the element function and pass the ID as a parameter. That will give you an element reference. And then you can use add underscore class or remove underscore class to add or remove classes to that particular DOM element. We will also want to display messages such as whose turn it is. Let us add an element to hold this message. We'll add a H3 over here. We'll also create a function in our code so that we can update the message. In order to set a value for the tag, we again call element, pass in the ID to get a reference to that element. And then we can use the write function to write any text into that element. Now we come to the core game logic. Let's create a class tic-tac-toe and we'll start by creating a method which will initialize the game. 
first we set the player to zero zero is going to be player x and that's going to be the starting player then we also create a variable which is going to hold the values of all those nine cells to start with there's nothing in any of the nine cells we'll also set this flag which says that the game has started running then we will display a message telling whose turn it is in the beginning x plays first so we'll say x turn and then we'll call the update cells function so that it will take all our cells and update it in the ui next we'll create a method to be called when the user clicks a button so it will take the position where the user has clicked which cell the user has clicked the first thing we have to do is to check if the game is running if the game is over or the game is not yet started then the button clicks should not do anything so we'll just return from here we'll also check that that position is currently empty if that position has already been used before then we'll just display a message saying invalid position and we'll return if they have both passed then we will update the position that the user has selected with the player who has put their piece over there and after that we will call update cells so that it will refresh the ui and show the x or the o in the proper position and then we check if the game is over if the game is not over then we move on to the next player we now need to implement these two methods is game over and next player let's start with next player all we have to do here is to update the player variable and update the message to show that it's the next player's turn this is a pretty simple function that leaves us with the game over check there are two scenarios here either we have a winner or it's a draw if we have a winner then we want to display the appropriate message in the messages area either x wins or o wins and we also set game running to false the game is over and we'll return true from this function If it's a draw then again we'll display a message set game running to false and return true so both of these the game is over If it's neither of these conditions then this function will return false for is winner we're going to create a list of all the winning patterns and then we are going to just loop through those patterns and see whether any of those patterns have been completed if it has that means we've got a winner and we'll return true otherwise we will return false for is draw all we have to do is go through all the items in the cells and if all of them have been filled up that means the game is over and is draw will return true okay that completes this class so we'll create an object and start the game we'll go to the button tag and we're going to add this attribute pys dash on click whenever the user clicks the button the function that we give here to the on click that will get executed and what we are going to do here is we'll just create a small lambda function and all it's going to do is it's going to call another function called cell click and pass in which cell was actually clicked on we got to do this for all the nine buttons that we have here in the grid
now we create the cell click function it will take in the position where the user clicked and all this function is going to do is it's going to call the play turn method in our tic-tac-toe game object reload the page our tic-tac-toe game is now playable each time we click a button it goes to the play turn method that one is going to update the ui then it will see if the game is over if it's not it goes to the next player's turn and that's going to keep repeating until the game is over either one of the players has got three in a row or all the nine cells have been filled up one inconvenience is that we now need to reload the page to play a new game instead of doing that let us add a button to start a new game we're going to create another button with an id reset we'll create the on click handler to call this function reset then we will implement the reset function this is just going to call game dot start remember the start method will reset and reinitialize everything that's it reload the page and it should all work so that's it that's our tic-tac-toe game with PyScript. don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you get notified for the upcoming PyScript videos until next time bye bye